Ah. Uh, oh my god. Wow. I never knew a back could hold such crap. PTSD. Post traumatic stress. Birkin. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, sorry, I did not mean to laugh at anyone's expense. Who knew that the Birkin would actually place so many people in therapy. I know. I, I'm sorry. It's no laughing matter at all. Today, we are going to talk about the Birkin that shook. It shook it. It shocked the luxury community. One could even go as far as to say it's the Birkin that broke the internet. And not in a good way. Guys, the amount of crap that came out of this, you would have think that this is a bag from Forever 21. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back. If you're returning, <laughs> I love you. It's a pleasure to have you. As you know, on this channel, sustainability matters. So we embrace imperfect sustainability. And I'll leave you some tips on how you could be imperfectly sustainable. As you may be aware, there is a blue Birkin that has shocked the luxury community world. It did so because one, it was unexpected. Two, who, who could have thought, who could have thought that such crap could come from a Birkin? The blue Birkin is the one that was repaired by Steve Beetle Letterstein, LLC. That's his name. Yeah, he's awesome. Ah, oh, what an amazing job he did. And those content creators who has the Birkin on a pedestal, who said that they're never going to rehab no, no, no. All of those luxury content creators, I'm going to go as far as to say, many of them are probably now suffering from PTSD. No, scratch that. They're now suffering from PTSD. PTS Birkin. This is not a face of joy. This is a face of, I told you so. The reason being is that I have always said to the audience, the YouTube community, whoever cares to listen, the Birkin is just a bag. It's a bag made by a man and a machine. It's a bag. It's like any other bag. It's not made from Teflon. It, it, it's not made from an indestructible material. It's a leather bag. And I've always said to you, the Hermes Birkin bag is not the only bag that is out there that is made from excellent Togo, Clements, whatever leather. In fact, this bag
versus this bag. This is Togo leather, guys. Beautiful. Yes. I love that about the Birkin bag. It's made from beautiful leather. Do you know how many compliments I get about the leather? Not necessarily the style, but the leather. I took this to clean to my local shoe person, the inside of it actually. Because it's made from suede. And so I wanted them to clean it professionally because it, it had a scent. When you buy these bags second hand, expect something, scratches, maybe smell. Now it, it smells beautiful. And they fell in love with the leather of this bag. It's just, it's beautiful to touch. And I fell in love with the color of the bag. In fact, when I bought this bag, it was actually just to essentially do a video on the tips to open and close a Birkin or a Kelly bag. You could see those videos on my shorts. And that's, that was the main reason why I bought this bag. Because I wanted to show the challenges that one encounters if you really think you should invest in a Birkin bag. These are the issues you need to know. Because not many people out there was telling you that you would have issues actually with the practicality of the bag itself. But I digress. We are talking about the blue Birkin. Why is it full of that? And yes, for those who are still in PTSD, they or PTSD, they made excuses for the fact that this bag is a bag that, oh, wow, it really must be fake. No, that could never happen to a real Hermes Birkin bag. No, 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 not, not the Hermes Birkin, that pinnacle bag. No, that has to be a fake. It must be a super fake because if you pay so much money for a bag, regardless of where you store it, it better come out as good as new, right? No. It's like any other bag. In fact, this is what I should name the video, the Hermes Birkin bag. While the quality leather is there, love that. While it may have been made by one artisan, that to me is not really, really important, to be honest. It's essentially the way they treat the workers. That's all I'm concerned about. As I've said to you before, I will never buy a Hermes, Birkin or Kelly, or for that matter, a lot of Hermes bags because I find them to be highly overpriced and I don't play games. I've had enough games throughout my life. I'm not into games. Yeah, I'm not a player. Because some people cheat. And for me, when you play those kind of games with me, games that involve my hard-earned money, you're cheating. And I'm not impressed. Just the way the Birkin bag doesn't impress me much. I'm not impressed when you're trying to play games with my money. So this bag, the luxury community is still in denial. They are still probably in therapy 
are in rehab because of this working. It is just a bag. Take it off the pedestal. It's not something that you should really be panting. So many people are <sighs> panting over the Birkin. Honestly, save your breath. Like literally, it's a bag. It's destructible like any other bag. But because of the exclusivity, because of the status symbol, you just rave about the bag to the, the point that everybody thinks if you don't have a Birkin or a Kelly, your collection is worthless, really. So it is for that reason why I am so happy to show you that the Birkin is just a bag. With that said, I've always said to you that there are quality bags out there. One of the tips that I could recommend when purchasing a bag, make sure that it's a bag that it's within your budget and it's a bag that you like. Like, I have learned to appreciate this bag and it is my go-to work bag now. I love it. As said, Moro Govana makes really great bags. And this is because mainly, this is based mainly on my experience. And I've learned to love the Birkin style bag because I have found a practical way to get in and out of this bag. And this is what I simply do these days. Even my last tips are outdated now because this is how I have learned to carry this bag and find the security as well as the practicality of it. So I would place the two side flaps, these, inside of the bag. I would pre-lock the sangles in place and then I would use the middle flap and lock it in. It's secure and it's practical because when I want to get into it, when I'm removing my bus pass, I simply undo, in, get my pass, show the driver, and place it back in and then I relock it as easy as that had I not gotten this Moro Govana bag I would have never been able to give you this tip because many of the luxury content creators and lovers out there wearing this bag it's just left opened. You know the usual way, like this. This is how they carry it. And it's not safe. So, if it's your pinnacle bag, who am I to stop you? It's your money. Spend it however you want. I hope that you would learn from that tip I've shown you. It's, it's a really practical tip. And if you're going to invest in the Hermes Birkin, or any Birkin for that matter, this is a great practical tip that you could use. And at the same time, I wouldn't want this to happen to you. So, Store your bag carefully because 
the Birkin is not indestructible. And we really, we really do not want to see any more of this happening to a Birkin. Because it's like, oh, poor the Birkin. Yeah. But, you know, it's just a bad. While you may want to defend its craftsmanship, or you may want to defend the history of the brand, it is just a bag. And while I'm happy to see that it could be repaired, I'm not going to spend $5,000 to be honest. I wouldn't even spend it on a new bag, much less to repair one. Never, ever, never going to happen. But you do you. If that's where your values lie, you do you. And the interesting thing again is that many would tell you, oh, the Hermes bag, not only is it the pinnacle bag, but it's an investment. If you mean that it's an investment in the sense that you would be wearing it for many, many years to come and quite possibly you may get your money's worth or more, but that is dependent on whether or not you store the bag properly whether you let it breathe because if it doesn't breathe <laughs> this is what's going to happen this for me doesn't look like an investment bag yeah if you're really buying a bag buy the bag because of the potential longevity cost per wear that you would likely get or maybe your daughter would likely get out of it. Buy the bag because you love the bag, not necessarily because you see it as an investment because imagine the cost of this bag today at today's rate, then for some reason it's not stored properly It turns out to be like this. And then what happens? An extra 5000 to repair it. That's, that's a down payment for a house. Just saying. At the same time, please tell your subscribers that the Hermes, Birkin, and Kelly are just bags. That's it. They are destructible like any other bags. If you don't store them well, this is what could happen. Just like any other bag at Forever 21. Because that happened to a bag of mine. Yeah. I started seeing all sort of crap coming out of it. I'm like, oh my God, I would never ever buy a cheap bag again. But then I look at this and I'm like... And this is not to tell you to buy cheaper bags. No, I would say buy a great quality bag. But there are great quality bags out there that are not necessarily Hermes. In fact, this bag, oh, how could I have forgotten to tell you this? This bag apparently was made by a former Hermes artisan oh my god yes the owner of this bag was giving me some of the history of this bag and she told me that it was made by a former homeless artisan and while that was a great piece of information i really just wanted a bag for the color you know me and my love for green so guys 
guys many beautiful bags out there of great craftsmanship in fact another bag that i love i got this second hand it looks like fendi doesn't it it's not it's made in italy by this brand and i take this bag everywhere it's it's such a beautiful bag it there's not a scratch on it and it's just it's it's just absolutely stunning and while some others may snub mulberry i love mulberry bags as well this bag is just absolutely stunning to me the leather on this bag and while it's embossed guys this bag is it's just beautiful and it's mulberry so there are companies out there that have really great quality bags in the same styles cheaper but until many from the luxury community tell you the truth and stop making it look like this bag is the holy grail of bags this proves that it's not it's not it's a bag and that's what i'm going to leave you with today i hope that you have learned something i hope that you have enjoyed this video and i would see you in the next one take care of yourselves love you and i'll see you soon bye